Hi, I'm Richard, and I thought I'd do a quick uh, video, and I'm just in the bathroom, and it's about strike-ins, because the, uh, the subject keeps on coming up about strike-ins, and I see beginners struggling with strike-ins and trying different uh, techniques to get a strike-in. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a cold, and I keep on having to do takes for it, because I'm sniffling and, and coughing and all kinds of things. Sorry about that. <clears throat> but I've always, and by the way, these pipes are said to be lorries from the 1940s. I have a bag, sheepskin bag. <clears throat> I have canard reeds in the tenors, an easy drone in the bass. <clears throat> Sorry, and a moose valve in there. And I had had the theory, or, or, or I had been shown this when I started playing back 45 years ago, this kind of concept of sort of surrounding the bag, where you have your arm here and this hand here, and you're really kind of surrounding the whole bag and <clears throat> getting some pressure to it from all angles. Sort of like this. Now, years ago, <clears throat> I was in a band, and there was a fellow who would actually punch the bag, and he was a grade one player and so forth, and he would punch it with his fist. <sighs> like that. <clears throat> well, you can see that it works. <clears throat> now, what if I try some other things? So I have, let me try something else. Okay, let me try this. <clears throat> With a finger? Yes. So let me try something else. Let me try not using this hand at all. <clears throat> now I'm not even going to have up my arm. I'm just going to hold the pipes out here. <sighs> design or they don't have them set up properly as far as the where the drones are, are placed, uh, a, a reed selection. I think a bag is part of it for sure. I feel that strike-ins and cutoffs are far easier on a sheepskin bag. <clears throat> I once had, because the thing is I've gone through having really touchy drones. I had for years I played this really old Glen set. It was gorgeous and it was from the, the 19th century. But it was finicky about striking in. Then I had a more recent set by a maker that I won't mention, but also just that bass trying to get it to strike in. <clears throat> then I've come across pipes. I had an old set of silver and ivory lorries I played for many years. I have this set, I, uh, which are said to be lorries with the, you know, the burnt orange cattle and mounts and everything. And then I also have a set of Starks, uh, and they're the same way. I, I, you cannot get a bad, with this set of pipes, you cannot get a bad strike in. No matter what you do, no matter how you try, I can make them all squeal on purpose. I mean, you have to work at it to do it. <laughs> Just 
still going to kick over every time. <clears throat> so I think especially for people who are band players, you know, I think instead of chasing techniques and trying this or that, get a set of drones that, that just work right, that, that want to play, that don't want to squeal, that want to kick over, that want to sound, and then have a sheepskin bag, and then read it, have the reads, the right kind of reads. You might have to experiment with different reads, with the adjustments of those reads. And once you have everything optimized, then you don't have to worry about strike-ins anymore. They just, they're just something that the, the pipes will naturally want to do. So I hope this has been instructive or helpful for anybody, or maybe people think it's some kind of bagpipe heresy. Uh, hopefully not.